Hello, I'm Wendy De Stevenson. Welcome to Zero to Five in 30 Minutes. As Kermit the Frog likes to say, it's not easy being green, but in fact, for some Valley families, going green for their children is one of the easiest decisions they've ever made. Take a look. Parents can count on changing about 8,000 diapers for just one child, while the biggest concern for most parents might be who changes the diaper and when, consider this. 18 billion disposable diapers make their way to U.S. landfills each year. These single-use items consume nearly 100,000 tons of plastic and 800,000 tons of tree pulp. Plus, diapers will still be sitting in a landfill about 300 years from now. It's, there's a lot of sort of scary statistics when you think about um, when you toss a diaper, where it goes, and what eventually ends up happening to it. You know, our children are going to inherit this planet from us. Um, and it's scary to think, you know, what our act, daily actions can eventually, eventually do. Fresno doctor and mom Shashi Baines is one of the 5% of parents who are not contributing to the growing pile of diapers. She has decided to go green for her 10-month-old daughter, Maya. The largest impact Baines and her husband can make is through the use of cloth diapers. And these are not your mom's cloth diapers. It has a waterproof cover and the inside is all natural cotton. Um, so it's a breathable material. We'll take the liner that we have and we just flush it down the toilet because it's a disposable, a flushable liner. Um, and then we put the diaper in a diaper pail. Because it is so simple, Baines recommends a how-to for expecting friends so that they know the benefits of cloth diapers. Friend, colleague, and mom, Kimberly Stewart, is a big proponent of going green for her eight-month-old daughter, Kansas. Her livelihood will be affected by this if we don't start making some positive changes and try to reverse the cycle. So definitely, you know, she is the reason. Through small changes, Stuart and her partner have incorporated more green techniques into their daily routine. This also includes a hybrid diaper system. It consists of three parts. It's a cloth outer shell, and then inside is a snap-in vinyl liner, and then Inside of that is either a cloth liner or um, conversely, you can use a flushable or compostable um, disposable liner. The hybrid diapers break down in just 50 to 150 days. Cloth diapers also provide health benefits for your little one. When you use cloth diapers, children feel wet sooner, so you change them more often so they don't get diaper rash. Um, and also they will be out of diapers sooner. They will be potty trained earlier. Price is also a large factor in using these more environmentally friendly products. While the upfront investment of about $300 can be costly, families can actually save money in the end. The cloth diapers my daughter has been using since she was three months old still fit her today. Um, and uh, I think if you you know, if you're looking at diaper change over two years, it can be something up to $2,500. Being green can save you some green with diapers and with food. Stuart makes organic baby food at home. One bag of uh, organic frozen peas that costs $3 at the grocery store will last two weeks, you know, if we just steam it and puree it here at home. And then we put it into small little ice cube trays that are specially portioned for her. The body and the brain grow faster from birth to age three than any other time. So if you're going to consume organic food, it has the most benefit at this age. The fact that we, you know, don't have to deal with all these, you know, plastic or glass, you know, containers. And also um, that, I mean, like we know what is going into her food. Feeding your child organic food ensures they are not being exposed to pesticides. Babies eat more than adults pound for pound and are more vulnerable to environmental toxins. Children are exposed to pesticides in unhealthy levels. Um, and there have some, been some studies that show 
uh, pesticide exposure can cause developmental delays, can cause neurologic problems, and even ADHD has been linked to pesticide use. The easiest way to go green with your food? Support local, sustainable, and organic farms in your community. Buying local equals less travel, less congestion, and less pollution. Once a week, we, we recommend that people buy organic, uh, low, no pesticides, uh, the ingredients are not genetically engineered, um, you're not going to have hormones or antibiotics put into your food. You might also try growing your own food or visiting a local farmer's market, such as the Fresno Kaiser Permanente Market held every Wednesday. This is just one of the many initiatives of the green team at Kaiser, which Baines is a part of. Another focus is recycling. About 5,000 pounds are recycled from the main hospital every week. For those hoping to green their routine, Bain says recycling is one of the easiest ways to get started. It's really easy to green your routine and just sort of go through your day-to-day -day chores. <clears throat> what do you do? Stuart recommends starting small. It can make a big difference. The easiest thing by far is just committing up here to change. I mean, just making the decision. And then you, it's not a race. You don't have to completely revamp your life overnight. Just making little baby steps at a time. You don't have to be a parent to employ some of these tips. For more ideas on greening your life, visit the 0 to 5 and 30 minutes website. Just go to valleypbs.org. This program funded in part by First Five Fresno County. At First Five, we focus on the first five years of life. We fund programs and services that better the lives of children in Fresno County. Additional funding from First Five Tulare County. Changing lives and building futures. Because it's all about the kids.